this is not the typical video you see on this channel, but I thought I might as well do it. Why? Because it's a real problem that is happening to most of us, if not to all of us. So I'm gonna start with this. This is a set of headphones I've been using for the last, I don't know, eight months or so. So they've been really good until this point. It's something like a no name, as you can see. Uh, it has noise canceling and stuff like that. But to be honest, they're not really doing anything unless the noise canceling, is, it means when you turn it on, you won't hear anything that is going through them. So it's not the noise canceling, it is actually the music that you're listening to or something like that. So I never knew exactly what that means, noise canceling. But I've spent like almost 16 pounds on, on these and they're really good in terms of the bass is going well. You can hear well, uh, the mids and highs, decent, right? And it comes like this, but an auxiliary wire, right? You can plug it in here. And yeah, this is something I'm using because I don't like using the Bluetooth uh, wireless earphones, headphones even. So yeah, this has been my daily <laughs> since about eight months ago, like I said, but this is plastic. They, they are made pretty good, to be honest. They're soft, they're nice to touch, to feel, right? The, the plastic is really, uh, has a expensive feel to it, but if you can have a look here, this snapped because they're made of, of plastic. So this is how they look right now, instead of like that, right? So I decided to buy something made out of metal. And what do you know? Went on eBay and found these. So this is the box. This is how they, they come, yeah. Nothing special, but for the price, which is less than 18 pounds, it's really good. Like the packaging, uh, about four out of 10. They come like this. Ooh, only half of the upper part here that another auxiliary cord and they come like that what's this if you want to read it be my guest just pause the video and read it just about the headphones uh, running process, running in process, maintenance, certification, stuff like that. Caution also tells you how much you should use them. But anyway, that's a different story. Right now, this is how they look. ASO, all right, padding here. So this frame is made out of metal, as you can see the silver part, but this is, these are, hold on, this is metal, this is plastic, these are the pads, there's not much flexibility there, but, and they look quite nice, squishy, soft, the padding here as well. Seems like good quality, but I've noticed something. If you, wanna, if you have a bigger head like mine, 
you have to extend them. Hear that? So this stays in place, but this one doesn't. It's just moving up and down. Look. So uh, I think I might have to. I think I'm gonna try to turn these a bit more. These two screws. Probably that's the the issue, and I'll get back to you. So after I use the screwdriver for these two little uh, screws, it seems to work a bit better. Not perfect, not at least like the other one. You can, you're still not hearing that much of those teeth. Kidding. Anyway, uh, hope it will uh, stay on my head properly. Yep, that's pretty much it. Good, they feel good. Now let's see the wiring. Feels nice and soft. So this is one end. And the other end is actually two. Is how they look green red black oh that's because I didn't notice <laughs> they have both both sides uh, jack female entrances but the thing is they, they are very small this is a 3.5 normal jack and this is the one that is going in these and I've been looking and it doesn't say left or right so practically is whatever you you feel like oh that's nice you have to push it really hard in it in inside you hear that, right? So, for them to really stay in there, not to pull them. And uh, let's test them. Right, so, um, first impression is that, yeah, they're really good quality sound they they on on the sheet that came with it it says it goes from 20 hertz to 20k hertz and i tested on about 30 to 33 hertz and it sounds really good i wish they could be a bit more louder but then again you might um need a different device that you can plug them in to hear them louder. Other than that, is good quality sound, is good quality. The structure, good quality as well. Only one downside about one of these, yeah. They're not working properly. But other than that, I'm happy with them. And the price, again, <laughs> it's stupid less than 80 pound, 18 pounds, one eight. Less than 18 pounds. So yeah, it's about less than $25 US. I'm not sure uh, the transaction, but yeah, it's, it's less than $25. Uh, dollars. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with them. And I'm really hoping they will last longer than the others. 
longer than eight months or so, right? So yeah, that was my review. Uh, please let me know what you think about it. Please let me know uh, if you have one of these and what stories you might have about them. Leave them in the comments and uh, see you in my next one. Bye.